After each test, you often see a summary of the score distributions from the instructor. And this distribution chart of scores is what we call a histogram. A histogram shows the frequency of occurrences for different score ranges. How many people get below 60, how many people get 60 to 70, 70 to 80, etc., etc. So that summarizes the frequency of different score ranges. So now let me show you how to use Excel to create histograms. Select the column that we want to create a histogram for, and then insert. In this case, Excel has different charts. If you click the lower right corner in the chart area, you're going to see your charts. And uh, here are some recommended charts. This looks like a histogram. Yes, it's a histogram. If you don't want to use that, you can click all charts. Here you're going to find histogram as one of the choices. And then you can select histogram and then click OK. It's going to generate a histogram. All right, so the problem with uh, a histogram automatically generated by Excel is the score range tend to be out of whack. For example, here the bands are 52 to 59.7, and then 59.7 to 67.4, 67.4 to 75.1. That's usually not how we create the ranges. Now, if we double click the, the horizontal axis, we are going to be able to format uh, the horizontal axis. Here, the bins are the bars that we see here. And uh, when you do automatic, that's when the, you tend to see these weird uh, score ranges. Instead, we're going to choose a different criteria. We're going to uh, enforce a bin width of 10. So we're going to look at 10 points in each score band. And then you can select the overflow bin and underflow bin. So the underflow bin for us would be 60. And the overflow bin for us is 100. And then once you choose that, you're going to see the histogram created would have the more rounded, nice ranges, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, etc. Again, uh, for these charts, we usually want the charts to be more intuitive, easier to read. We're going to make some changes in chart design, and uh, we're going to add some chart elements. In this case, we can add the horizontal, primary horizontal uh, axis, and then we're going to chart add the title for the primary vertical axis. And for the primary horizontal, click on it. We can edit this as score range. And then for the primary vertical, we can edit this as number of students. And the chart title is histogram of score of test score. So now we have created a histogram. As you can tell from here, the good thing about a histogram is it's uh, fairly intuitive. You can instantly see how many people are in each one of the score ranges. And it's a very, very useful tool to visualize data and to summarize the distribution of numbers.